Hello YouTube, it's Mr. Energy T Gamer. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Xbox 60 better pack. So, I have a pre made one right here. You can see. Now I'm going to show you that it does work. So, you just put it in the controller, press down on these little springs, and hold on, let me get it right. And as you see, it works. Oh. There you go. And see this thing's in. But what I do since I've been holding this down the whole time I'm playing. Um what I'll usually do is um put like paper in between so it holds it down for me. But um so yeah, I'm gonna be showing you I know I just turned on my Xbox, but um I'm gonna be showing you how to make this. So first off, what you need um I kinda wanna take this out because it's a perfectly made one. Is something like this. Something that is like this little metal thing. So, like a piece of a paper clip, a little tiny nail, something like that, anything. I'm using this little needle looking thing. I don't know what it's for, but um, yeah. And you're probably gonna need some tape, any kind, really. Duct tape will even work. Um, and my tape's a little messed up, so I have to cut it with scissors. But, um,. What the heck? Okay, wow. Um, so, anyway, I'm just going to take some random um, batteries that probably don't have battery, but, you know, just for the purpose of the video. So, um, okay, wow, I'm just a little clumsy, aren't I? Um, so, where did that other battery go? Um, Alright, here it is, and here's the tape. Alright, so, um, yeah. As you see, I just got two batteries. Probably, I just picked up some really weird batteries. I don't know where, where these even came from. I just found them in my closet. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to use these. So, first thing you want, you want a piece of tape. One second, let's cut it. This is going to take a little bit longer. Alright, here we go. About yay big. I'm just going to who says yay. But, um, yeah, it's about inch and a half or two inches. So, you put it on the side of the battery. It's like this. So, it's like right there. You can see. And then, what you do is take a little clipper, whatever you have. As you see, I'm using this little thing. And so, it works for, works in for everything. But, it just has to be like a little metal piece of something. Um... So, and then you just tape it down onto it like like that. And then take your other battery. Get roughly about the same size. Doesn't really matter if it's bigger or smaller. But um, you kind of want the same size because you can do the same exact thing. But on the other side. Okay, wow. Well. <clears throat> so, just going to cut this piece off. And then, so, see how I did the, um, the side that has like the little hole? I mean, yeah, that little hole. Um, the little thing that pops out, not the side that's flat. Like, this side's flat. And sides. Not the flat side. So, I'm going to do the opposite side of the one that you taped last time. So, the flat side. And so, we're the negative side. So, then you do the same thing. Just like that. And then you want to make sure it's touching inside of it. Like this. Tape it down like that. So it looks like that. And the little thing's going all the way through it. Alright. So this is what I like to do. You don't have to do this, but I would recommend this so the battery pack stays together. Take another, a bigger piece of tape, like, about that, well, okay, about that size. Yep. Then you just cut it. And then you just tape it around both the batteries. So they're both secure next to each other. <coughs> Like that. Um, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if these batteries have any life. It doesn't look like they do. Yeah, they don't. These are dead batteries, but yeah, that's how you make it. And I'll just show you one more time on batteries that actually do have battery. Um, and let's put this little metal piece through. The metal piece is crucial. It will not work without it. Alright, so, let's see. Same exact things, different batteries, because... 
these actually have a better life. Let's do that. Just like that. Um, so, hold on. I'll get a piece of paper. I'll show you. Um, what I like to do. I can get a piece of paper. I just got a piece of lined paper. Like, fold it. Fold just like this. That. Keep going till it's kind of thick, I guess. So anything like that will even work. And then just kind of push down the battery pack onto the spring. Then you put the piece of paper in between. Just like that. Okay, it's not tight enough. Need a bigger piece of paper. Alright, so get another piece. I'm just going to use both pieces just so I can speed up this process. Like that. It's kind of thick. Sort of fit right in between, just like that. God, it's supposed to be thicker. Okay, on the piece of paper, do this, fold it, I stick it right in there. Oh my god, I need more paper. It usually never happens. Okay. Um, I'm just not pushing down enough, I guess. Alright. Um. Get more paper. There we go. That should be enough. Oh my god. Alright, so there we go. Turned on. As you can see, that's a little paper on the top right here. It's a little paper, so it stays. Now I'm going to, and then this is also not required, but I like doing this so the battery pack will actually stay in. Just drag it on the piece of tape. About the same size that you did to, um, about the same size that you did to wrap around the two batteries to make them secure. Oh, it's messed up like this whole tape roll. Alright, here we go. So... Then, to get another piece of tape, um, this tape's kind of fucked up right here, and do this, and then do that. So, uh, yeah, that's how you make a battery pack, and so thanks for watching, and bye.